Hi, this is Grant at Grant Park Photography, bringing you some more tips and tricks about photographing fire performers and Burning Man. And I want to talk about the influence of other art into what we do. Um, photographing fire performers is no different than any other type of photography. It has its own technical challenges, but it is still making images of people and things. There are lots of other genres of people and things. There are things like street photography, classic portraiture. Have a look at those other image makers and see what makes their images work. Art is an aesthetic. People have a view. In general, people like some things more than they like others. By learning from other artists and other genres, you will find out what people like, where people's eye goes in a in an image. And this works just as easily for fire performance as for a portrait session. You know, if you have a big flashing light behind your fire performer, that's gonna take your viewer's eye away from where you want it to be. So you can get rid of it by moving, you can get rid of it by moving them. You can get rid of it in post, but by learning these these rules, and I love to say the word rules because rules are made to be broken, but learning these tricks of composition, where your eye is drawn to, what makes a powerful image, will inform your art. It should not constrain your art, but it will inform your art. No art happens in a vacuum. Go and look at old master paintings. Go look at modern paintings. Go and look at impressionist paintings and see what they're doing with the color and the movement that they're getting within the images and how they're achieving that. And some of those things, how does that apply to what you're doing in your art? Anyway, hope this helps. If you have any questions, drop them down below or hit me up at Grant Palmer Photography on Instagram and I will get you all in the next one. Cheers.